Welcome to the media chat room and we're back with more celebrity news that's trending in the headlines. Our first one up for 2024 is Cat Williams. Now y'all, Cat Williams got the headlines trending. He went over to Club Shay Shay with Shannon Sharp and he basically talked about every black comedian that's mainstream. First there was Ricky Smiley, Kevin Hart, Steve Harvey, and Seth the Entertainment. He even sprinkled a little something, something out there for Tyler Perry and Martin Lawrence because they dress up like women. But the smoke wasn't really for them like it was for the other ones. So we'll be going over a lot of the trending moments that hit the headlines including how he felt about his comedian peers and being blackballed from the industry now y'all know we definitely gonna get into all that but before we do i'm gonna need y'all to go ahead and like and share this video go ahead and show the algorithm how much you love us and support our channel then hit the subscribe button and become an official chatty patty lover and i promise you're gonna love it here because one of the things that we do is break it down break it down break it down and last but not least don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you know when we drop our next video now let's get back into cat Williams. Now y'all know Cat Williams is very controversial. Ever since he's been out in the media he's been labeled as crazy and he's very known for speaking against the Hollywood industry and all of its weird practices. But when doing an interview on the club Shay Shay with Shannon Sharp he decided to set the record straight stating a lot of the rumors that were made about him has been a false narrative and he even went on to say a lot of the black comedians that are mainstream are just not funny at all. Also adding when a lot of them came to visit the Shannon Sharp show they was just speaking a whole lot of lies. When I say he went in he definitely Went in. This interview has only been out for one day and it has already gained 7.8 million views. The interview in its entirety was 2 hours and 45 minutes and we can't show everything. However, we'll just talk about some of the highlights. And the reason I had to come is because you made a safe place for the truth to be told. And I have watched all of these lowbrow comedians come here and disrespect you in your face <laughs> and tell you straight up lies. And I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart lies, but Jesse Smollett gonna keep lying until you say we don't believe you. It's important in the checks and balances of the universe that liars not get to make complete narratives for themselves. Like all of these dudes are co-entwined and they share secrets and this is the age of truth and, and, and the truth doesn't need to be scared of the fact that people tell lies. Okay. I don't ha harbor any resentment to any of these entities because I can't be jealous. I've never seen them have anything that I ever wanted. If you sign up for their program, you get a light skin, weird face wife that never do an interview. Oh, in man, Listen, in 20 years, won't do an interview. Nobody's ever talked to her and that she's never been interviewed anywhere. And now understand, I'm not talking about one person. What I just told you applies to seven people. How they all end up with that. That's part of what you get. I came in this business saying I was going to expose. When I talked about Michael Jackson, when I talked about R. Kelly, they canceled me for these things because why would you talk about another black dude? Race is not where the line is drawn. It's God's side and the other side. And we don't care nothing about the other side. Period. Period. All of these uh, big Deviance is all catching hell in 2024. It's up for all of them. It don't matter if you Diddy or whoever you is. T.G. Jakes, any of them. The, all, every, all lies will be exposed. That's all. And, 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 and anyone who takes that the wrong way know why they take it the wrong way. Are you not afraid about being blackballed again? These are some power people. What do you mean again? Satan can't create anything. That includes blessings for his people. That's why, do you know what the number one job of somebody that sold their soul in Hollywood is? What? Is to act like it didn't happen. They all do the same job. But I'm not scared of being the competition any more than you were when you lined up uh, uh, across from a superior team. Yeah, on paper, they're a better team. Right. They have all the assets and resources and we don't. But let us get on the line, boy boy, and see if that factors in. I, I guarantee you it won't. Wow. All of these shortcut takers, I, I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out, but he offered to suck my p in front of all my people at my agency. He did all of that. I'm thinking I'm the only black person on the script. I get there, it's three other black guys on there. Woo. Huh. So you wonder what they did to get that. <laughs> I told him no. What y'all do? <laughs> and this is why when I walk in a room, heads go down. 
The king has walked in and they have to respect it only because I've not taken the shortcuts. I've not been funded. They pay you to not talk about things they don't want you to talk about. They tell you that themselves. Have you, have you ever been on truth. Have you ever been on tour with any of these guys? The guy, I, every guy I mentioned to you is not funny out there in real life. So, so you, no. The truth is the light. I never have been known one of these. Amen, amen. Gee. Mm -hmm. I kind of <clears throat> get on here. Right. After that, I don't really kind of know where to go. Let me one more time. <laughs> mm -hmm. Right. So, y'all, in the interview, Cat Williams was basically saying that he is set apart different from all the comedians that he mentioned. They have conformed to the ways of Hollywood and it's something that he's not willing to do. Therefore, he's willing to take a stand and stand alone in all that he believes and say. Not only are they liars, but they're also thieves because they steal the materials of others and pose it as their own. And merely just puppets and figureheads that don't possess real freedom with the level of access and resources that they may have gained. Now, y'all, it definitely was a mouthful and it even had Shannon Sharp. Speeches. which is why i threw in that ending clip because when he came he really came to spill the tea and let everybody know he ain't new to this he true to this and y'all shannon sharp didn't even know where to go next with this interview and i was dying laughing y'all because shannon sharp said cat williams gonna have him canceled now y'all i believe it's becoming a viral sensation because a lot of things that he said in the past is now coming to light and it's seeming that he may have actually really been putting out some little sprinkle sprinkle throughout the years so brows are raising that everybody want to put the pieces of the puzzle together now chatty patty it's time to hop in the comments let me know your true thoughts about this interview so y'all think that cat williams actually exposed a lot of things that's happening behind the scenes in the industry and disassociating himself with comedians in the industry will possibly delay his career even further or is this just for entertainment talks and giggles and what did y'all think about cat williams when he started talking about these people wives but after looking at the picture do y'all kind of see what he's talking about and last but not least y'all what do y'all think about him leaving shannon sharp speechless i mean he literally had to take three shots and didn't know where to go next in the interview i want to know all y'all thoughts so i'm definitely jumping in those comments and y'all before before y'all leave, make sure that you like and share this video so that more Chatty Patties can find And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so that you can become an official Chatty Patty lover. And I promise you're going to love it here. And last but not least, make sure that you turn on your notification bell so that you know when we drop our next video. But first thing first, I'm going to the comments to see what you all had to see. Then it's back to scrubbing the headline so that I can bring you all another video. Now that's going to be all for now. So until next time, bye-bye.